guys welcome back once again in this video we look at how we can create a very simple website using visual studio code and uh, github copilot yeah so for this video obviously we're going to use um, chat gpt4 and create a very simple blogging website but obviously to get started please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't so let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I have Visual Studio open. If you don't have Visual Studio installed, go to the official website, download and install it, and then come back to this video. But if you've already done so, yeah, also make sure that you, you install the GitHub Copilot extensions, okay? And obviously, you sign up. There's a paid version and a, and a free version as well, so you, you can choose whatever that is applicable to you, okay? So if you are done with all of that bit here, yeah, open your Visual Studio, yeah, and then let's open our um, our chat, our charger. I mean, there's one. So as you can see, I was offline. So let's go ahead and reconnect. Yeah, try the connection again. Yeah, so we are back online. So let's type in this command without creating any folder or whatsoever. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh type this command let's create um a web uh, blogging website using html css and javascript okay So this is what we get. So this is the um, blogging dash website, and this is what we have created. We have which has been created for us. Okay. So this is what we're going to do next. Yeah, we're going to click on the create a workspace. Yeah. So here we sh we can go and select whatever folder that we want our website to be in. So in this case, for my case, I'm going to select my website. Yeah. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of folders here. So we're just going to leave it as as it is here. Selecting this folder. So that would be actually be the parent folder. So here we actually prompted to open it in a new window, or we can use the current window. So we click open to use the current window. So as you can see here now, we have our blogging website here now okay so we can click this and open the chat as well so this is our chat and obviously this is our website so let's have a quick look at what is inside here so we've got this folder assets yeah which contains fonts and images and we've got CSS folder which contains the style sheet okay so it's real it's not it's not really fanciful yeah then we've got um the JS folder which uh, which contains nothing for at the moment then we've got our html so which contains a bunch of text scripts yeah so let's actually select um our let's come here again here yeah, and then type type in add more functions To the blog okay so as we can see here it's creating for us now so this is what we get here now so here are the additional features that you can add to your blog um, blogging website search functionalities comment section dynamic blog post and whatnot yeah so let's see what let's i mean let's add what has been added to it let's have a look at how we can do that okay so once we we actually hover on the on the code here here we can apply to the index.html 
and here we can insert a cursor and here we can copy the code and um, paste it so let's go ahead and add it here so as you can see here now the code is being added so here uh, now we've got the code added yeah so as we can see here it's asking us to keep it or undo it so let's keep the changes so this is the changes that we've got so let's scroll down so as you can see here now we've got the changes basically inside a, uh inside a, i mean the index.html so let's go ahead and add add some javascript So we've got it here. So let's have a look at what has been added. So it's a dark mode toggle. So switch between light and dark mode. Um, set functionalities. Yeah. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to add it to the um, to the um, script of JS. So as we can see here now, we've got the JavaScript added for us. So this is what, we, what we've got at the moment. So let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. So here, run without debugging. So let's select uh, the Chrome. So as you can see here now, we've got this folder added, added for us. So this is um, it's a launch.json folder yeah so let's go ahead and run it again since it's not running um, run without debugging so this is the error that we, we're getting now so let's close it yeah and then let's go to uh, visual studio let's op if, open a visual studio if you've got one Visual Studio 2022. Under Visual Studio, let's continue without code. Okay, so uh, inside our website here, yeah, let's go ahead and remove um, the VS Code folder. And let's come to Visual Studio and then go to File and, and Open. Uh, let's go to open website so here uh, let's go ahead and select select the folder that you put your website in so as you can see here and I've got my blogging website here so let's select that folder and then open it inside our, our Visual Studio so here is actually asking us to, um, to, to target that .NET framework yeah, so let's let's just continue on like that. So now let's run it on um, IS Express and see how our, our website turns out. So let's go run without debugging and see what actually comes out. So basically, this is what we get, yeah, for now. So basically, um, the, the, I think the, the links are not working, but let's have a look at uh, forward slash index.html so this is what we get still but obviously you get you get what 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 i'm trying to do here now okay i don't want to really complicate you too much yeah 
So I will leave this video here for now so that you can have a, uh, you can have a look at and try to create something for yourself, okay? So basically, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.